imagine that an adult male uh, wants to have sex with a, a 12 year old girl. Imagine that she's a willing participant. A, a very standard, very widely held view that there's something deeply wrong about this and it's wrong independent of it being criminalized. It's not obvious to me that it is in fact wrong. I think this is a mistake. And I think that exploring why it's a mistake will tell us not only things about adult child sex and statutory rape, but also about fundamental principles of morality. Well, th there's a couple of things to say here. One is, even if you are looking for a threshold, let's say there's a threshold, I'm, I'm making this number up, but let's say it's at age eight. Um, still, that tells you that some adult child sex is permissible. Second, the notion that it's wrong even with a one-year-old is, is not quite obvious to me. There are reports in some cultures of grandmothers fellating their, uh, the baby boys to calm them down when, it, when a colicky. Now, I don't know if this is true, but this, this is sort of widely reported as occurring in, in, in at least one culture. And it, it working, that the grandmothers believe, believe this actually works. If this were to be true, and again, I don't know it to be true. If it were to be true, it's hard to see what would be wrong with it. So, yeah, I, I guess I think, no, I, I don't think there's a blanket period beyond which this is permissible. If we're interested in willing participation, which is the way I structured it, then yeah, there's a, there's a point below which people aren't willing participants in anything because they don't have intentions or they don't have the sort of mental states that allow for willing participation. But no, I, I, don't, I don't think it's blanket wrong at any age. They might think that children can't be willing things in general. It's an odd view in that they seem to will things all the time. They, they will participation in kickball, they will showing up, participating in the bar mitzvah lessons, bat mitzvah lessons. So there's all sorts of things that they will. You might think, well, maybe there's something distinct about sex that they can't really understand it. It's not clear to me that what they're not getting at is consent. I suspect what they want to say is, okay, they're willing participants, the voluntary participants. They have some understanding of what's going on, not understanding we do, but some understanding, but they haven't consented. Perhaps that's so, but that's a different claim from their being unwilling. There's just lots of activities that children engage in that they don't understand all that well. For example, when you, when you first show up to um, participate in a judo tournament or you prepare for your, your bat mitzvah, I mean, you have a rough idea, but it's not clear how much you fully understand it.